Just a short episode, I just wanted to share with you, I've been on the hunt for many years for a lapel mic that sounds really good. I'm asking too much, I'm asking for a lapel mic that sounds like my Rode NTG3 or my S-Mic 2 from Deity or something like that. I'm told you can't do that and you're not going to get that, and I understand. But I would like a lapel mic so I can be more mobile when I'm doing things and record. Now I'm using the Mix Pre 3, and the reason why I'm using the Mix Pre 3 is because it's the cleanest audio signal that I can get out of all my recorders. I love this thing. I've done, I did a review on this, and I bought two. Now I have this set right now. You can see it's uh, levels. Uh, the at least the green levels are hitting about uh, hitting about 20 on this meter, which is fine. I'm just looking to do a comparison. Let's listen to this mic for a second that I'm currently using, and let's, let's listen to some silence. It sounds pretty good to me. I don't hear a whole lot going on. Uh, let's switch mics here to the next lapel mic. Um, this is the cheapest, by the way. Let's uh, switch to the next lapel mic, which is a bit more in cost. And let's see how that sounds. Here's the le next lapel mic. Test one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And this is, I just wanted to check. I had to up the volume a little bit on this mic, um, a couple dB, just to make it working so it sounds good and blah, blah, blah. And that's the way it is and yada, yada. Okay, here's the next lapel mic that I'm checking. It's a little more expensive than the other one. Again, I've tried to set the meters um, at exactly the same place. I'm using the same mounting clip on each of these lapels and mounting them in the exact same place on my body because I want to see, uh, that's how I want to compare these and see which is better. Um, so this is the next one. Let's have a listen to some silence. I do hear some ambient noise, but I think that's happening outside way off. Um, in my headphones, this sounds not as good as the other one, but until I get it into the editor, into Audition, and look at these, and look at their noise floors, and hear how they sound, I don't know. Uh, and until then, we won't know, and I'll tell you what each of these mics are. Let's go to the next mic, uh, which is the much more expensive mic. Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing, testing, hello, la, 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 la. Okay, here's the next mic. Uh, this one sounds, to me right now, it sounds like it has a lot more highs and less lows. I really like lows as my NTG3. Um, this is the much more expensive mic. Let's listen to some silence and hear how this sounds. I really don't hear a lot on each of these mics. Now, there is some ambient noise way outside that I'm hearing. You wouldn't normally hear these with your ears that I'm hearing. I don't know if it'll come through on the mix. Um, I have many, many lapel mics. I just chose these three because they sound the closest um, to each other, and they're probably the ones I think are the best out of what I have. Let's get this into the editor and let's actually listen to these things and see what they look like, see what the noise floor looks like, and I'll put some cards or whatever and titles up there and tell you which one I think is the best, and you can tell me which one sounds best to you because really in the end, it's what sounds best to you, not to me, because you're going to be the people who are watching it or using this. Well, this is the Rode lapel mic, and personally, I think it sounds the best out of all three of them. Well, this is the Deity V-Love, and personally, I think the V-Love sounds the best out of all three of these mics. This is the Mic Booster mic, and personally, I, I think it's the best of the three. By the way, it's also the cheapest. Now, a few things about this. I like the connector. It's just built better. I like the bigger capsule on the microphone, which may explain why it sounds a lot better. It doesn't come with anything. I mean, it doesn't even come with this little windscreen. Um, it comes with the clip, the cord, and you plug it in and that's it. But for the price, I I'm pretty impressed with this particular one. I hope that helps. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Here's a pro sound tip. Uh, when you go to plug in your lapel mic, or any mic for that matter, make sure that the plug's inserted all the way in or you won't hear anything. Glad I could help.